Most Twitch streamers choose to film their lives from their house, but many of them decide to take their followers with them while walking outside. Whether it's an inside look into their lives or a carefully documented list of things they do, many of these streamers blur the social lines of online communication, creating a clear view into their everyday. Even though it sounds kind of fun, and many streamers feel rewarded by their day-to-day -day work, there have been several occasions in which streamers have been approached, followed, and even attacked by some creepy stalkers. Street Stalker This 2020 live stream was broadcasted by I'm Jasmine, a Japanese Twitch streamer who unfortunately experienced horrifying harassment on the street while recording. The streamer in this clip was peacefully walking around and interacting with her fans when she sat in a corner. Hello. Hello. Suddenly, a man can be seen approaching the streamer and trying to talk to her. The man starts to get a little bit too close to the streamer, who politely tells him that she's on live stream and to please back off. Oh. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Okay, bye. That's it, that's it. The man ignores the streamer's request and continues to harass and grope her, even though she tells him multiple times to leave her alone. No, don't stop, man. Ben, stop touching me, man. No, no. Now at this point, the man keeps harassing the poor girl, arriving at the point of even touching her, completely invading her personal space. At this point, the fed-up streamer decides to just go home, but when she proceeds to stand up and leave, the stalker starts following her through the streets of the city. Oh, oh my god, man, I gotta go. Stop following me. Oh my god, I fucking hate this guy. The girl starts crying and becomes very frustrated and worried due to the unfortunate situation. Stream on myself and be okay, not like leave and like five minutes later someone touches me weirdly, like all the time. Luckily, the scary man eventually leaves. Days after the fact, the streamer posted a video talking about her experience, explaining that during the stream, she was laughing at first as a mechanism of defense as she was very shocked and didn't know how to react. It's not funny, I just don't know how to deal with myself, you know, so if I laugh, well, that's why. Disturbing Fans During this 2020 live stream, the streamer Sushi Potato came across three male fans who politely asked her to take a photo with them. Oh, you want to take a photo? Sure, sure. Let me. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a photo together. Sure, sure. At first, she can be seen happy to meet her fans, but later on, they ask her to remove her hand from her chest because she's wearing a low-cut top and wants to cover her body. No, I'm not taking my hand off. No, I'm not taking my hand off. Hell no! Stop it! No! No! I am taking my hand off. Turns out that the fans don't settle in too well with her decision, and one of them requests her to remove her hand. When the streamer declines to do so, the other man grabs her hand forcefully and tries to remove it. This is not the first time that Sushi Potato has had to face harassment while streaming. In fact, there are many more videos of the streamer dealing with this exact same situation. Random Creep In this clip, also by Sushi Potato, taking place in a 2021 live stream, she's seen talking to a random man in the street, which is pretty standard for her content. Everything seems fine. First, the man simply asks where she's from. Where are you from? Me? Yes. Antarctica. Antarctica. However, things turn south quickly after she says she's from Antarctica as the man approaches and begins to touch the streamer. She reacts quickly, getting visibly upset and throwing water at the man to try and make him leave her alone. Bye. Get away. Bye. Her quick thinking likely diffused what could have been a dangerous situation. Creepy Mask Stalker In this 2019 clip, the streamer Wreckful is walking through the streets of Japan when he notices something weird. As the streamer is recording, he sees some creepy guy wearing a mask who seems to be following him. Wreckful flips the camera so that his followers can see the situation he's facing and turns to one side of the street to see if the creepy mask guy is actually following him. Wait, he turned. Wait, he turned. Wait, do I run? Do I, do I run? 
After he's sure that the guy's following him, Reckville panics and starts to run forward. But when he notices that the guy is still following, he begins to shout at him and ask him what he wants and why he's doing this. I'm running. Fuck, man! You know me? Why did you do that? As a surprise, the guy starts talking to him with a friend of his, and they both claim to be fans and travel just to see him. A bit creepy, right? Patrick, by the way. Uh, I'm still scared, dude. Yeah, and I'm really sweaty. This is Dennis. Yep. The Samurai Stalker in a 2019 stream posted by Twitch streamer Elia Gatto, she's seen walking peacefully along with a friend on the street. All of a sudden, the two notice that some creepy guy has been following them and that the man has a katana with him. Why is he following us? Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> they feel uncomfortable and begin to run away in their fear, but the guy continues to follow them. They keep running before a random guy walking by steps in to help them, noticing their situation and help them get to the police. Later, the guy manages to inform the police, and the stalker is apprehended by authorities not long after. <laughs> Streamer saves girl from a stalker. This 2020 clip was posted by an Australian streamer called Rob D. The streamer lives behind a kebab shop in Tokyo when he notices a woman and a man walking together. The streamer notices that the girl is in trouble because she's walking towards the guy, and it could be seen that she's looking for an escape. He's my friend. Hi. Uh, yeah, yeah. The streamer approaches the girl and introduces himself to the stranger as a friend of hers so that he would go away. The creepy guy asks him where he is and starts laughing disconcertingly. Yeah. Where from? Australia. Oh, so wow. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, man. So, uh -oh. No, is it fair? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But seconds later, the man decides to leave. The girl is really thankful because that action really saved her. Aggressive Fan In this live clip, the streamer Ray Demto takes his followers on tour through Amsterdam. Yeah, actually, just down that right there, right over there is a police station. There's, there's, there's police stations everywhere. After saying that he feels safe while being very close to a police station, a random man appears on the camera and puts his arm around the streamer as he speaks to the camera. At first, the man seemed to be friendly, but suddenly he turned aggressive, claiming that he would kill the streamer while live. I'm live on Twitch! I'm on the floor! And I'm gonna kill this f the stranger grabs him by the neck, and the streamer asks him to let go. As the stranger continues, the streamer begs him to let go, but suddenly the screen goes black, and Redempto disappears from the camera. Pretty disturbing, right? Stalker in New York Four Twitch streamers are seen walking through New York in this 2021 livestream when suddenly a random guy in a white sweatshirt approaches them out of the blue. The stranger claims that he wants to be their friend and hang out with them, but the streamers find the interaction weird and ask him to stop following. No, I just want to hang out with you. Oh. For what? It's, it's, um, it's going to help me out. With? Help you out? Yeah, it's going to help me out. However, the man doesn't seem to care. He claims over and over that he wants to be friends, and he was just friends, clearly making the streamers uncomfortable. Later on, things got even stranger as the man asked them if he can follow and not talk to them, but keep a bit of distance. Okay. I mean, I just need to follow you guys. You guys can talk okay. about whatever you talk about. You know, what do you call Video go. games yeah. or something? Go, 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 it's go, okay. I'll okay. just keep okay. walking okay. with you, okay? okay. It's okay. I need okay. this. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> this behavior sets off even more red flags, unsettling the streamers. He explains that he really needs to follow him and they need to trust him, but not ask why he needs to do it in the first place. I'm just gonna hang out with you guys, okay? I mean, if you let, if you let me know what it is, I'll help you out. <laughs> what do you need? But otherwise, you know, less Sorry, people, the better. We're yeah. just trying to move, man. Yeah, let's just move. Let's go. He simply insists on his need to do so. The streamers continue on, with the weird guy following them along the way. But later, he asks one of the women if his friends are bothering them, and he says he's making sure she's away from weirdos. Oh, wow. Are these guys bothering you? Are they bothering you? Oh, no, these are my friends. Oh, they're your friends? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just they're trying to protect friends. you from the weirdos, you know. 
Um, so many fucking weird pieces of shit around. That's a pretty funny conclusion, isn't it? Threatening stalker call. While streaming live, JD Ann was recently accosted by her stalker during her regularly scheduled content. Oh wait, my dad is calling. Hold on. Hello, Papa. The man on the other end of the line threatened that if the streamer did not expose herself on stream, he would kill her father. The clip of the ordeal is short as Jade keeps her composure and listens to the man on the other end of the call, the only show of emotion in her expression as he threatens her. The conversation takes place in German, so viewers were left speculating about what was happening. On the other end of the line, JD Ann explains that the stalker was hurling verbal abuse towards the streamer before finally escalating to physical threats against her family. Jade quickly confirmed that her family and father were safe before quickly contacting law enforcement about the interaction. As the popular Just Chatting streamer was well known for her content, this was not the first time she dealt with stalker abuse. One time having a person send 25 pizzas to her, and another time having the fire department called on her location. Indirect Contact Sweet Anita, a lovable Twitch streamer with Tourette's Syndrome, is well known for her content on Twitch. She has also been publicly dealing with her stalker for several years now. With a lengthy, ongoing legal battle, she attempts to keep herself safe. Well, I'm not gonna milk the situation. I'm gonna, I'm happy to be open about it and my experiences, but I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I'm so scared! I sure hope you all donate to me and stuff! You don't need to throw money at me out of pity or anything. I'm cool. She quickly learned how awful the situation would get after she was assaulted in 2019 by a man she went on to get a restraining order for. So I went through the gate and they held it closed so that he couldn't pass them and continue to follow me. No contact was allowed between the two, but despite this, the man continued to leave threatening, dangerous messages directed at Anita. While streaming, Anita caught him leaving her cryptic messages and decided to take matters into her own hand. She confronts the man head on, informing him that it counted as indirect contact and telling him that there are ways to prove it. That's not gonna end well for you. Stop. Genuinely. This clip from 2020 is one of the most recent and aggressive online altercations between the two, as he continued to threaten the British streamer bodily harm despite the legal proceedings surrounding her interactions. 